You know what? It's been a while since I played Apollyon, and because I've been playing with the Split Void mod for a few months now, I thought, well, he's not actually that bad anymore because the Void is actually good now. All it took was a mod on a Steam Workshop to actually make it, make it a good item, but it is a good item now. And because I, you know, I only encounter the Void every once in a while and I don't really take it or something like that, why not play with the Void today? This is a horrible item, for instance. Thank you for the speed and damage. It's actually <laughs> two of the best stats you can get out of that. Holy shit. The Void hurt my complaining and immediately started making me get good stats out of it. That's incredible. Anyway, hi. How's it going? Hope you're doing okay on this wonderful... November 5th, I think that's when this one goes up. Yeah. <laughs> Time dilation and all that, you know? It's, it's weird with the backlog. Whoa. We're into the we're into the, uh, the, the holiday season now, right? In the Christmas spirit. Halloween was uh, just about a week ago. Not quite, but, you know, almost a week ago by the time this goes up. And, uh, you know, <laughs> you're probably seeing all the Christmas shit in the stores already. I mean, they were starting to sell fucking gingerbread in fucking July here <laughs> already, which is crazy to me. I mean, as somebody from the Northern Hemisphere, I cannot possibly physically associate Christmas with warm climate or warm weather. I know that if you're living in the Southern Hemisphere or even just close to the equator, uh, you do because, you know, it's summer down there <laughs> when Christmas rolls around, if you celebrate Christmas, which uh, coincidentally not a lot of places do, not because there's not a lot of places that celebrate Christmas, or rather because the majority of the human population is on the Northern Hemisphere. Which is curious, isn't it? Isn't that, isn't that kind of strange? I mean, it's just how, you know, it ended up being with, like, fucking tectonics and shit like that, right? But isn't it fucking curious as hell, like a weird coincidence, that the majority of Earth's landmass is on the Northern Hemisphere instead of the Southern? Or much like it's not as equal, you know? And thus, a majority of the human population lives on the Northern Hemisphere as well? Kind of, kind of a weird coincidence, right? Like a weird curiosity how that, how that happens or something like that. I don't know what I'm talking about. Is this the little horn that like never does anything but create smoky balls? Because uh, that seems to be what he's doing right now. Bro is just making smoky balls. Okay, he's moving around a bit. But he's not really like spawning anything. He's not making bombs or anything. I can, I can just dodge the balls. I don't have to like, you know, shoot them necessarily. You can just run around in circles like orbiting a rocket in TF2 dodgeball. If, oh, that's a niche fucking reference for like the... Two people that are watching this video that have also played TF2 dodgeball competitively and uh, know what orbiting a rocket is and have done it before. It's a, it's a dark phase in my gaming life from like 2014 until 2015 when I was actively playing that a lot. Believe me, I wish I could get those like five, six hundred hours of my life back, but oh well. What a mess of a fight. A big ol' tears up though, don't hurt nobody, might as well take this as well. Might as well grab these to fill up my hearts, and I am just gonna leave, because I got an amnesia pill, which I don't want to have anything to do with, so I'm out of here. Fuck this place. Lamel. A sack room. Right here, huh? Interesting indeed. If I get some red hearts lying around, there's actually a case we may to be playing it for, uh, well, for multiple reasons, but mainly because the bone heart is pretty cool with that, because you can, like, use half hearts and still get a full play out of it. Now, let's see what we can do with the void. What kind of void shenanigans we can get up to, right? I remember way back when they... I think it was an Afterbirth came out, right? That's when they added Apollyon and the void. I remember watching, like, fucking Cobalt Streak streaming at that time, and he, like, just was, like, on a run trying to break the game as much as possible with the void, because he voided, like, a D20 and shit like that. It was crazy. Void breaking the game kind of takes a lot more work nowadays. I don't know why. I just, I just don't do it as much. I don't see it happening. Maybe it was just a once-in-a-lifetime run, but it just so happened to be the first one he did. I don't know. That's like a weird piece of memory I have, because the funniest part is I don't even watch Cobalt Streak anymore, <laughs> or anywhere nearly as much as I used to. It's just a weird memory that for some reason exists, like a, like a, a, a locked core memory that I have of this game for some reason. Besides, you know, thousands of thousands and thousands of episodes of Northern Lion plays the Binding of Isaac. Hey, <laughs> like, I could go to the shop, and to be fair, if there's a secret room here, I can without even using a key. Wow, two items in my secret room? Hot damn. I'm not gonna avoid these. Infamy is good, and I can use Lost Soul to at least get, like, you know, I'll pay out if I take him before leaving. So that doesn't seem like a bad idea. What about you, item room? Sad bombs is kind of just worth taking. I do need bombs. People would have been fine as well, honestly. This is A-OK. -okay. Some HP never hurt nobody. Um... No, I'm not, I'm not going to the I was thinking about it, but I'm not doing it. Matter of fact, I'm just gonna leave the floor. Let's grab you. At least this little freak will pay out with something this floor. Something of note. It will all be useful to me because I'm not the lost and I'm not the keeper. So if he plays out with just soul hearts, I'll be happy. 
Lil Gish. I thought he could pay out with angel room items. I guess it's a chance whether it's an angel or a treasure room item. Lil Gish, huh? Void dead. Range plus shot speed. That's more like it. That's the void I know. Turns out that first void payout of damage plus speed was just a just a fluke. <laughs> the real void would never give you anything that isn't range or shot speed. That's more like it. Okay. What do you got? A Maggie's bow. That's actually just worth it. I do need the health to keep my bone heart alive. Which I would like to, so yeah. Yeah, okay. There was no there was no avoid that bro got like nudged into me. I Kinda gave up as soon as I saw him near me. I'm surprised I didn't get hit for as long as I did, and it was actually Lost Soul that took the first hit, but oh well. I never accept... I never I never expect Lost Soul to live for more than a single fucking floor. It's impossible for me to keep that fucker alive for any longer than that. It just doesn't happen. Unless I get BFFs, which I guess if it wants to show up in a shop, that would be awesome. But like, unless that happens, there's no shot I'm ever keeping Lost Soul alive. What do you got for me? No Angel Deal? That's a damn bummer, but at least I got another Fat Tears up. <laughs> I will gladly accept it. <laughs> that. I think there's a secret room up here. Oh boy. Hermit and death. Okay, well. So glad that I picked up a flight to do this with. Otherwise, this would have been impossible. It's just gonna keep going, huh? Like, bro, we've been here forever, please. I don't mind, I'm getting a lot of money, but still. Thank you. Oh, I gotta sneeze. Maybe? Never mind, that was one of those bait sneezes. The one that, like, builds up. For a while and like you feel your nose really itching but then as soon as you actually try to commit to it like just let it you know go all the way you never go over the edge and you never you never start to actually sneeze it's a damn shame really uh yeah my nose has been runny a little bit lately anyway i don't know i don't know why it's not like i go out i don't think i caught a cold the one time i went to uni earlier this week that seems uh ridiculous that seems unreasonable um so i don't really know maybe it's because i still have this subconscious insistence on Sleeping with the AC turned on, uh, at least for a little bit, right? Even though it's getting colder now. I, 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 when I go to bed and I feel like it's too warm in my room, I still turn on the AC anyway, which is a, a vice. Yes, it's definitely a problem, and maybe it can get me sniffling a little bit, but... Man, my nose has been runny all day, and I've been sneezing a little bit. So who knows what, who knows what my immune system's cooking up or something like that. Who knows what foreign object uh, has entered my nostrils and infected my... My mucous membranes or whatever. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit annoying. That's that's all there is to it. I don't really feel sick yet, but who knows? Maybe that's to come. I can void this without remorse. And look at that, a fat old tears up. Don't the tears ups from void break the tears cap? They do, right? So that's another reason why it's actually kind of goaded. Why it's actually kind of good. I'm giving void the time of day today, man. I guess I can restock on this side. You know what? Why not? Maybe I get something something cool. I gladly uh, would not mind some extra trinket space. I also wouldn't mind being able to buy deep pockets. Uh, I will blow up every single one of these fuckers if I got it. I, I will get deep pockets, brother. I will. The main shop on this floor wasn't all that exciting, so, you know, I don't mind going for that instead. God, I hate a runny nose, man. It's not that, like, it makes me feel better when it, it's just annoying, right? When you feel like liquid running out of your nose, man. It's nasty. It's annoying. And I have this habit of sniffling instead of blowing my nose, which usually fixes the problem. But, you know, that's besides the point, really. Another tears up. God damn, dude. Okay, yeah, avoid tears ups. Definitely break the tears cap, by the way. Because I just broke the fucking tears cap, brother. Uh, I, I, I can get two cents somehow, surely, right? Maybe I gotta do some backtracking between the main side and the mirror side or whatever, but... I can find two extra pennies. Why wouldn't I enjoy myself? Deeper pockets. Let's go. Let's see how long I can keep Lost Soul alive this time around. Whoa, jumper cables and a dice shard. God damn, give me the key for now because I actually want to go to my item room. Look at that, I already got the dice shard in. My pocket, might as well get it. I wouldn't mind jumper cables either though, obviously. This is an XL, no, it's not an XL, it's just a really large floor for some reason. It feels like it's really large. It's probably a Gideon fight, by the way. Great news. G great, great news. I love it. I love these news. Yeah, you know what? Fuck, I'll fight him. It's not Gideon. Oh my god. No fucking way. Then, you know, the game had it in itself to give me a boss fight that isn't Gideon with this tall boss room. It's a horrible arena, mind you. It's kind of like a fucking... I'm fighting like in a fucking alleyway in Hong Kong or some shit. Like, what the hell is this? Finally made some space here. Gotta fucking shoot this guy, though. If only I had flight right about now. Oh, that would be so nice. That's a good bomb. Oh, I got a good chunk of them. Some of them are still stony, though. Some of them... Uh, I, I'd rather eat the damage than Lost Soul. Come on, I can keep Lost Soul alive for this. I can do it. I can do it. I can't guarantee that he'll be alive for the rest of the floor, but at least I can keep him alive for this, you know? 
It's it's a, it's a war of attrition here. Come on, blow him up. Yes, okay, that's one of them down. Huge. That makes it so much easier. Ah, fuck! God damn it, lost soul! Finally, I've cleared up some space here, though. I can actually move now. God damn, dude. Ah, well, lost soul is dead, but at least at least I lived. Sure, that's good. Fucking friendly ball, nah, dude. Monstro's lung. Sure, you know what? Sure. I'm down to clown. I'm down to clown for that. It doesn't strike me as a horrible idea. Maybe it is. Maybe it isn't. My tier rate is pretty damn high, so that makes the charge rate pretty damn fast. I can now one-shot pretty much every enemy I encounter, so really no complaints from my part. Yeah, there's no way I'm keeping Lost Soul alive on an ash pit. That's for sure. <laughs> this, this fucker is dead again. There's no shot. He's staying alive. Matter of fact, he might die in this room. Okay, he lived in this room, but it was not a gimme. It was not a gimme. I, I'm having so many close calls with Lost Soul here, man. Bro is not supposed to having that, be having that many close calls. Unidentified pill. Oh, of course it's a bad one. Virgo, yeah, cool. Give me go good pills, why not? Mulligan would also have been amazing, but I'm honestly happy with good pills here because I've been having so many terrible ones. And now these are guaranteed to be good, so why wouldn't I take them? Range up. Range up, brother! That's that's what we're talking here, man. Okay. Really makes me think. Another Sacrum, by the way. I've been noticing that these are so common now, man. What happened? I thought these, these were usually, like, so rare. Whenever I need a Sacrum, they never show up, and now that I... For the past, like, four days in a row, they've been the most common special room to show up for some reason. Okay, what's the secret room got? Just a little bit of money for my troubles. A little bit of Monica in my life. A little bit of Rita is all I need, etc, etc. Any Mambo number five enjoyers? <laughs> These guys are nasty. Oh, there goes Lost Soul. <laughs> really? That's what took it out? <laughs> These guys like that? That's crazy. I did say it wasn't gonna be long for this world, and I wasn't lying. By the way, once again, I did not get an angel deal until I had a 100% guaranteed chance. I just wanted to put that out there. I never lost my deal chances, I never got hit to lose them, so um... Just saying, just putting that out there. The game has once more screwed me. Thank you, Infamy. That's huge of you. Yeah, let's just fight the boss. Get my angel deal, get this over with, right? It's not Gideon, it is Clutch, which is obviously worse in many ways. I should avoid it. Pageant boy, I don't know why I took it. I don't know why I was so insistent on taking it. OH MY GOODNESS, WHAT THE FUCK?! This is the most... Stacked angel deal I've ever seen in my life. Obviously, I'm taking Sacred Heart, but what the what in the world? Holy the most stacked angel deal in existence That was insane, bro. Curse of Damaze for this one. Not a big deal Hey, Lost Soul, you think you can survive now that I have like a more overpowered run? So maybe I can kill enemies before they can kill you perhaps yeah, go charge see. Ah fuck there goes Lost Soul again And I lost my bone heart as well the fact that he swings around you, like, like behind you a little bit is annoying. Oh, I gotta take that. I can't avoid that. Belly Jelly would have also been incredible. What the fuck? Let's just fight the boss. Yeah, the damage output is pretty crazy, though. Sacred Heart kind of kind of did that to me, huh? Uh, I'll just void that. It turned the range into damage and uh, luck, which is actually incredible. I remembered to void an item for once. Can you believe it? Can you believe it, guys? I didn't forget to void an item. Something I tend to forget a lot right now. <laughs> Now, the craziest part about the run so far is that the split void doesn't even have any bearings on this run so far. The fact that I have the split void means nothing. And, like, everything that I've done with the void so far, I could have done with the normal one. That didn't even need the mod. But at some point, I'm sure I'll get an active item that I want to use separately from the from the voiding function, and then I'll be very happy about it. Ah, surely Lost Soul will stay alive this floor, right? This floor for sure. <laughs> surely. There won't be anything goofy going on or whatever that will kill him. Nah, it'll be fine. Definitely. Yo, a planetarium? The 1% planetarium? Okay, okay. Damn, shorty, okay. What do you got for me? That's the best one! <laughs> Arguably. At least one of. You know what? Just use the soul cane right here. Oh, ambitious, I guess. By that, I mean, there's no way it would have been here. I don't know why I was so eager to do it, but oh well. Health up, huge. You don't blow up. I don't allow you to. Ah, there goes our soul. <laughs> Bound to happen. Bound to happen. D4, huh? Well, I'm not gonna avoid that. A big old tears up though. Holy. The body. You know what? That's fine. That's a okay. Oh, keep a sack. Well, you're just like way too late, but <laughs> it's literally the final shop of the run. But I suppose I'll buy out everything just because I can. It's literally stats at the end of the day. So why wouldn't I? I get to uh, donate a little bit. And that's something. Okay. That's, that's fine. All right. Uh, time to fight mom. Should be a pretty easy one. Yep, uh, half her health gone in one shot. That's uh, that's pretty good. Let's go down. I got so much health. I got no reason not to.
Well, there is a reason, because avoiding items is gonna be harder than just doing it in the chest, but hey. Ah, you know what, why not? Burgos got me covered. Holy shit. Got me covered good. Alright, thanks for that. <laughs> May have went a little bit deep on that, but it was worth it, because holy crap. <laughs> Bro paid out with euthanasia. I need to try and keep Lasso alive somehow. Maybe I don't even want to do the whole floor solely because of that. I think the easiest way to keep him alive is by nah, not doing all the rooms and then I just got into like a horrible position. I realized, wait a minute, I shouldn't be here. <laughs> uh, so much for that. I might as well do the whole floor now, right? Might as well. I got the I went the wrong way regardless. I'm not supposed to be here. I'm not even supposed to be here. Hope I don't jack off. I need to not die now. That's my bigger, bigger threat at this point. The threat of death. Well... These may be good. Plus, there's a secret room right there. And a crawl space? With dead bird. Uh, let's avoid that. Speed plus damage. Thank you very much. What about the secret room? Golden poop. With, of course, counterfeit penny. Well, my sodas, you've served me well, but uh, you didn't do anything, so... <laughs> Whatever. Tears up. Doesn't do anything. Range up. Probably also utterly useless at this point, but oh well. Yo, this, this little monstro is almost big enough to be a normal monstro. Alright, mom's heart. Let's just uh, enjoy our time together and all that while I, like, three-shot you effectively. Wasting two shots on trying to kill your ads. Didn't get another angel deal. That's honestly appalling, and it's a fucking trash item. What the fuck do you mean? I'm gonna trade for it and void it instantly. There you go. Luck and range. Let's go, bro. Let's go. Can't believe I didn't end up playing the sack rooms to just get the fucking key pieces like that. Uh, well, here I am getting punished for my insolence, I guess. Sisyphus the Sufferer and all that. You know what is a Sisyphean task as well? Trying to get a fucking doctor's appointment. <laughs> like, um, I understand now. Like, dudes not going to the doctor isn't just a meme. Like, oh, we gotta thug this one out, there's no problem, right? Like, oh, the, be the best cure is to just, uh, thug it out and you'll be fine. There goes Lost Soul again, by the way. I, I don't know how you keep him alive, I just don't understand how you do it. Um, it's because it's literally impossible to even get a doctor's appointment in the first place. What I mean by this, well, I've been trying to get a fucking doctor's appointment with a dermatologist, right? Because I want to get, like, I want to get my skin checked out, because I think there's something... There's like a, like something that is just uncurable. Like I want to get my acne problem solved and I've tried like literally everything. Like I have tried every possible, like reasonable thing that you can try at home. Over the years, like countless lotions and face creams and cleansing products. Um, like, like special fibers and cloths to wipe your face down with. Uh, I even tried changing up my diet at some point a little bit. That had no effect. Recently, I tried taking some pills that are supposed to help, but all they did was give me diarrhea for like two weeks straight until I decided, wait a minute, I don't think I should be taking these if I'm getting constant diarrhea out of them, so I stopped taking them. I The the, the cream I'm using right now, the ointment or whatever the fuck you want to count, call it, right? Uh, Steam cell is nothing for me, might as well avoid it. Not a bit of a tears up, let's go. It has the best effect, but it also smells awful. It, It's also like, it burns my eyes if it ever gets into contact with them, which means I can't put it on overnight. And it doesn't really sink into my skin, which means it looks weird, and I just wash it off after a few hours. But, like, you know, it has its own fair share of problems, which prevent me from using it all the time. I just have it, I put it on in the morning for like a few hours and that's it. Basically what I'm trying to say is I want to finally have like a final solution to this fucking acne problem. I don't even care about how it looks. It's not actually that visible, unless you get really close to me. <laughs> but the, the fact that my skin is constantly irritated, constantly itchy, that, you know, they're, they're always like, Either they're, they're a little nasty, like filled with pus, or they just bleed because I accidentally scratched them open or something like that. I don't want my face to be covered in fucking scars and bleeding all the time, right? That's annoying. So I've been trying to get an appointment with a dermatologist to get my shit checked out professionally and have an actual professional doctor look at it and be like, Oh, yo, this is an easy fix. You just uh, take these pills and you'll be fine for the rest of your life, right? I, I hope that it could be a simple solution like that. The problem is, not only are there no dermatologists nearby where I live, uh, most of them either don't have appointments available until, like, fucking May next year. If you look at online at, like, a chart where they, like, show when they have appointments available. Or they only take in privately insured patients, which I don't believe I am. I think I'm only insured, you know, with the basic one. Which is fine, because either way it doesn't cost that much, but still, you know. So I can't go to them. Or they just straight up don't accept new patients. So, like, what am I supposed to do? I guess I'll just wait half a fucking year until I can get my appointment. Like, what the hell? Sure, I, I suppose. Like, the medical industry is fucked, man. I've talked about this before, but it is, it is fucked. How did we get to this point, man? Like, it's, I don't even don't want to go to a doctor because it, like, it's expensive or whatever. I literally can't go 
Because it takes either half a year to get an appointment, which is crazy. Or, like, the, the fucking doctor you're trying to go to just straight up won't even accept new patients. So, like, what's the point? Why am I even trying? I guess I'll just fucking die. <laughs> yeah, I know if it's, like, an acute thing, if it's important, they'll probably put you on a shorter wait list or whatever. Yeah, yeah, but, like, come on. You know, I should take this and send La Salt down the drain. <laughs> okay, La Salt, that was the most useful you've been all run. <laughs> When I sacrifice you to the to the devil himself and turn you into brimstone. That's really funny. I will take a guppy item, why not? I, I would like a whore Babylon, but unfortunately I don't think it's gonna be all that useful because I uh Right, I have brimstone now. Uh because uh you know I'm never gonna be at one red heart or half a red heart or less than half a red heart. Ah yes, the, the brimstone synergy with uh with Monstrous Lung. I get to experience it exclusively for once, instead of uh the last time I had it, and it was like a mishmash of all kinds of crazy items trying to synergize and fucking shit up. It's pretty damn powerful. Especially when the brimstones are homing, too. Who would have thought? Who would have imagined? I'm effectively one-shotting. It's almost like getting hit by three brimstone beams or four brimstone beams simultaneously. <laughs> Kills every enemy instantaneously. Uh, sure, I should have avoided that, probably. Shouldn't have taken that. Anyway, so yeah, I randomly shot an email to, like, a dermatologist that's, like, somewhat nearby where I don't have to drive, like, 100 kilometers just to get to one. Um, uh, but, you know, the, the, the site did say, oh, we're not currently accepting new patients. So I was like, brother, let me try anyway. You never know, right? Maybe that's outdated. Maybe they'll, they can slot me in anyway. And if I have to wait until next year, I gotta wait until next year. At least I don't have to drive halfway across the fucking state just to get there, you know? That's, uh, that's a pretty good, pretty good get. Anyway, no keepies for me, huh? A damn bummer. A damn shame indeed. And by no keepies, I mean no dad's key. Nah, I'm not doing a victory lap here. You know what I am doing? I'm just gonna uh, quantum tunnel to the item console and uh, give myself key piece one. I think that's the one I'm missing. Never mind, it's key piece two. God damn it. I just mysteriously, uh, you know, I quantum tunneled. I, I did some like science and stuff and now here we are. I got a strength card for this as well, which is a little bit more damage, which I definitely needed. Uh, I wasn't doing enough yet, you know? Yeah, I mean, getting hit by four or five simultaneous brimstone beams will like kind of lay you out pretty hard hate hate the creep <laughs> it's so funny how it just one shots everything it's not even that like my damage is absurdly high right like 38 is good but it's not absurdly crazy but the fact that you know i shoot like five brimstone beams simultaneously including the impact with the original tier <laughs> it just kind of goes nuts look at this man oh man look at that Beautiful. I have the range for this. I can just like stay back here and enjoy it. Would you look at that? What a- what an easy fight. What an easy peasy fight. Yeah, I'm doing the void. Of course I am. Even if I cheated to get here in the first place, who gives a shit? Could have just installed a mod that uh, allows the void to always spawn and then I would have had it anyway, right? That's all I want to see is delirium. Where is he? Where is he? Where is she? Ah, nah, just wait that for more damage. Oh, two stacks of it, mind you. Wow. Wow, the Void has actually been very nice on this run, even though I didn't get to, like, abuse it to its truest potential, which is, you know, abusing active items and stuff like that, which is where the Split Void would become very useful. The stats I've been getting from it, just from voiding passives, have been absolutely wonderful, and there's Delirium. Time to annihilate him with these Brimstones. Oh, look at that, man. Isn't that a juicy one? Also, Warm for trying to pull a lot of weight. Just die, dude. Just die. You're not, you're not, you're not killing anything here. I'm killing you. That's it. Look at that, man. What a, what a nice and easy fight, though. What a nice and easy fight. What a simple, what a simple yet elegant and beautiful synergy. Turns out just running into good items randomly <laughs> makes your run very easy. <laughs> I didn't have to work for this one. This was like nothing, man. A chip on my shoulder. Anyway, that's it from me for today. I hope you've enjoyed yourself as much as I have. And I hope I may see you again eventually. Tomorrow, I suppose. Yeah, that's, that's what it boils down to, really. Uh, subscribe. See ya.